Okay, so on film it's not real easy to catch this pattern, but I ended up getting it dialed in fairly easily with those side screw adjusters. Um, the yellow, you can kind of see the marked pattern on the yellow, but where you can really see it on film apparently is the walk pattern up here. You can see it's nice and centered, catches each tooth in a nice center position. That's what that's what you're looking for. Doesn't go too deep. The backlash is set up correctly. You can hear just a little tick in there. Um, this setting was between these gears were sold with the specification they should be set up between seven and nine thousandths backlash. So that's where I went, eight thousandths. And the reverse mesh pattern. Oh yeah. That's the drive side of the tooth. And this bottom side is the reverse pattern. And the reverse pattern was even harder to see. Um, I had a hard time rotating it backwards so it didn't end up showing up very well. But even even on film you can see the centered pattern. Um, you can see it a lot easier. Oh, there we go. I rubbed off a little bit more on the toe side and I checked the patterns and it looks like that's typical um, they all come with a pattern sheet well this one didn't come with it I did a bunch of research and made sure I had the right patterns for the Chrysler 9 and a quarter um, your results will vary depending on what your rear end is so yeah now <laughs> I gotta disassemble the whole thing insert the crush sleeve and that's where that bad boy comes into play. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to get a size reference, but it's the only one I could find. See, that's my hand. That's a big boy. It's the only one I could find that would go up to 200 foot pounds, which is um, what you have to take that pinion bearing on to, or the pinion to on this rear end before you find 15 inch pounds of resistance to spin on the pinion installed alone. So I'll have to take the pinion, install it alone, take it to 200 foot pounds, and then I'll take a dial inch pound, I don't see it, but a dial inch pound torque wrench and um, you start spinning it but you don't take the measurement on that brake free when it first starts to spin because that's not what you want. You want the measurement from that inch pounds wrench as it's moving. So you have to have kind of a steady hand in rotating it and you get it the best you can. This one is between 20 and 25 inch pounds to be set for the free rotating torque. 